Recently, I spent some time in France, and while I was there, in the news was the proposed NAR settlement agreement. And I ended up having some conversations with real estate agents in France, or immobiliers, as they are called. Um, and we discussed how things work in France. And there are some similarities to how things may work in the U.S. once changes uh, take place in July. And I think it's worth noting uh, because there's a lot of um, uncertainty uh, and some stress in our industry over how things are actually going to shake out and work. Um, so let me just share, in France, when a homeowner wants to list their property, they hire a real estate agent to do that, and they agree to a fee uh, or commission that they will pay that agent. They may or may not agree to pay for any of the buyer's fees or for compensation to an agent for the buyer. Buyers um, typically do a lot of legwork uh, on their own in France. And it is much more difficult there uh, because they don't have a centralized multiple listing service or MLS the way we have in the US. And so um, if you're a buyer, you may directly contact the seller's agent. You may have an agent who works on your behalf to try and help find places for you. You may pay them, you may not pay them. And yet at the end of the day, properties do get sold. So my takeaway is this. We are going to experience some changes um, and there's a lot of differences uh, between the process in France and the process here. Um, but one of the things that is necessary there is that when an agent is representing a buyer, they have to do a lot of communication with listing agents um, over availability, compensation, um, and other details. And that is definitely going to hold true here in the U.S. So it will be interesting to see how this all um, works out. Um, I think there's still some unknowns, uh, but follow along with us on YouTube, on social media. We will definitely be keeping you posted. I'm Shannon with the Shannon Jones team at Keller Williams Realty in Long Beach, California.